Breadboards are primarily used for prototyping, since connections can be made quickly, easily, and conveniently. Most importantly, every row is electrically equivalent. That means that this point is going to be the same as this point. Keep in mind that this valley does separate your breadboard into two connections. To make this a little easier for you to see, I've taken apart the adhesive on the back, which I really ask you don't do since you only have one breadboard in your Pybot kit, and you can see these long metallic strips. If we look at these side by side, you'll see that these metallic strips allow for the electrical equivalence of every row. Now, our goal here is to light up an LED. What is an LED? This is what the LEDs look like in your kit. An LED that you might buy elsewhere will look something like this. You will have a long end and a short end of your LED. The long end will be your power and the short end will be your negative or your ground. LEDs flow like a one-way street. This means that current only flows in one direction. Your black will be equivalent to your short end of your LED and your green will be equivalent to your long end of your LED. To use an LED, we have to keep in mind that LEDs are rated for a certain amount of current. This means we want to utilize something called resistors. You will have a resistor pack and I'd like you to take out your pack of six. And with your pack of six, you can go ahead and take out one and we'll talk about this 330 ohm resistor. Resistors come in a variety of levels. This one particularly is a 330. And the reason I know that is because it has a color band of orange, orange, black, black. This shows us on a chart that it's equivalent to 330 ohms. Now, the next thing that we'll need is our stem board, which we will use to harvest five volts. On our stem board, we have 13 digital pins, some analog pins, and over in this section, we have five volt, ground, and 3.3 volt um, pins over here. You'll also notice a three volt and this five volt switch Please make sure that we are on the 5 volt side. You'll see a micro USB connection to connect to the computer. And you also have your reset pin. If we take a jumper wire, which are these black, black, I'm sorry, um, male, male wires here. And these male, males will use red and black to stay with that color convention. If we plug in a wire into this 5 volt, we automatically will have a five volt output. All the grounds are common and we'll call them common ground. One thing to keep in mind is we have a switch on this end which has three volts and five volts as an option. Make sure that your switch is on the five volt side. Now, let's go ahead and get started with building our circuit. On our breadboard, we will connect our five volt to one row. The next thing that we'll want to do is put in our resistor. Our resistor doesn't have a polarity. That means it doesn't matter which end will start, like an LED, unlike an LED. So we'll go ahead and connect one point from the same row to another on our breadboard, like this. The next thing we want to do is include our LED. The colored end is the power end, which should stem from the same point of your resistor. And to complete the circuit, we'll jump over the valley. We'll grab a black male male jumper wire. And we wanna take that to one of our common grounds on our stem board. The final thing that we need to do is either attach one of two things. Our stem board can be connected with our nine volt adapter or we can also use our computer. First, we'll use our adapter, and then we'll also show you that the computer works too. Now, we're gonna wanna plug this in right over here, and whenever you make a connection on your stem board, you wanna make sure that you're level. That way you don't come in at an angle and break any of the fragile electronics. If I go ahead and plug this in, right away, 
you'll see your LED light up. One other thing that you want to try out, instead of using your 9 volt power supply, you can use your computer. The way that we'll do that is we'll bring our computer and all you need is your USB cable. Insert your USB cable into your computer, per usual. Take your micro USB end, insert it into your stem board, and you'll see your LED light up. Now that you've done this, see if you can try this with two LEDs or even three. Congratulations, and I'll see you in the next video.